Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Just yesterday, I was trying to help, help somebody with a parallel dimension tool, and I was a little misunderstood what he was trying to get to, and I understand it now. So we're going to measure this as a 15 by 15 square, and we make it 15 by 15. Well, he needs to, I'm not saying he's going to ever send a square to the customer, but he needs to reduce it to like make it into a PDF file to send to the customer. But now it doesn't read 15, but it needs to read 15. Pretty easy, just select the parallel dimension tool, go up to object and break the dimension tool apart. Then grab your text. And when you do that, you can see right here, you've got your text editor and we can make it 15 inches. Whoop. And then hit okay. And so now you've got it, it says 15 inches, even though it's not really 15 inches. But you can, you know, change that still. If we, uh, you know, if you want to change it some more, we've got the text selected. So instead of having those inch marks, we can go write the word inch. And now we got 15 inches. Of course, it's way too big for this drawing, but. And then you could put it back between, because what we did, we broke it between the two lines. And this is actually going to help me because a lot of times I'll send a customer something and um, maybe it's not exactly 15 inches, like 14.99 or something. And 15 is close enough, but I want them to know it's 15 inches so I can change it to 15 inches before I send it to the customer for measurement. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.